The October jobs report is out. Non-farm payrolls rising by 271,000, crushing estimates of about 180,000 jobs. Here with more is Jerry Webbin, the chief economist at Oppenheimer Funds. All right, Jerry, what do you make of the report? The blowout month pushing the unemployment rate down to 5%. Well, you know, I, obviously this is good news. Uh, I always caution people when we get one of these outlier numbers, there's a good chance it gets revised down a month later. So we don't want to exaggerate it, but in fact, this is, is definitely a good number and good news for the, for the labor markets. All right, and speaking of revisions, there was an upward revision to August and a slight downward revision to September, although gains in those two months were still higher uh, to the tune of 12,000 jobs, another sign of strength in the labor market. Yeah, so those were modest adjustments. We're always going to see them, but uh, the the labor market seems in pretty solid uh, and pretty solid ground here. All right. Also, wages rising two and a half percent over the past year and 0.4 percent during the month, also ahead of estimates. You know, wages went up. What's really interesting is if you combine that with the numbers we saw yesterday on unit labor costs, which really is measure of the productivity of our labor force. You know, those unit labor costs were up a little bit, but less than expected. So our productivity numbers were up. And that means that we may be employing more people, paying them a little bit more. And still, there's some room for earnings for companies that are managing this process well. So you put those two things together, and that's particularly favorable news. So the big question now is, what does this mean for the Federal Reserve? Perhaps a December rate hike is more plausible. Of course, the Fed is data dependent. They've said so. Uh, this would be a confirmation. They'll see some uh, one more set of numbers before their December meeting. But uh, this certainly raises the probability that the Fed begins to, uh, what they call it the lift off or normalization or a, a modest increase in, in the, in, in, in the uh, overnight funds rate uh, next when, when they meet in December. And do you think that lift off will come in December? You know, I think the probabilities have gone up. They've been about 50 percent. I haven't checked what the market says, and I always think I want the market's opinion, not mine. But I'm going to guess is that's well over 50 percent now, and, and I think that's pretty good betting uh, if, in fact, that's the case. So, yeah, probably they do go in December. Although one thing that has been holding back the Fed, of course, is inflation. Do you think the stronger job growth will start to push up inflation? Well, you know, you, as, you know, as you said, wages are up a little bit, and that should be helpful. Remember, it's not inflation, but the expectation that inflation is moving toward the 2% target. So given that wages are a little better, uh, yes, and the, and the labor market has tightened, I think the expectation of moving toward that 2% inflation target, I don't think that's going to be an impediment for them. All right, and just very quickly, for the market's point of view, I mean, of course, the markets would seem to, you know, not favor a December rate hike. They would want to push that out even further, right? Well, you, you know, the markets. Uh, I think that, that, in fact, when rates are going up gradually from a very low level, the equity markets are quite content with that. What equity markets don't like is when the Fed says, we got a problem and we've got to slam on the brakes. Uh, a gradual tightening in response to a strong economy, good productivity numbers, right. good employment numbers, that should be okay. All right, Jerry Webbin, the chief economist at Oppenheimer Funds. Jerry, thanks so much. My pleasure, Scott. I'm Scott Gam, and you're watching The Street.